The Strait of Georgia is the last stronghold for Pacific herring in British Columbia, but it is still the most aggressively fished population in the province. In 2024, herring spawned in bays where nothing had been recorded for years. And while this is exciting, there's still an unstable and uncertain future for BC herring. There was a rich indigenous fishery for at least three millennia. First colonists get really to Vancouver area in any numbers in the 1860s, and then we've got key species gone from that environment. By the early 20th century, we've lost 99% of everything. Taking away more and more of our food, our uh, herring are being taken away, and our salmon was taken away. We really feel that this is a genocidal action by the federal government against our people. They don't realize that they're killing themselves also because that food there is feeding a lot of things that feed us. We have the right to, to harvest fish and harvest herring. That's something that's been denied to us by the over-harvesting of, of herring within our territory now. It's not available to us anymore. I think what's really important to keep in mind is that there's not a single species on this coast that can exist in isolation. And so to protect any species, we have to think about the ecosystem on a broad scale. I think what's really scary about a herring decline and a potential disappearance of herring is that we don't know what the true impacts will be. We know that there will be impacts, likely on an ecosystem-wide scale, then we need to be really cautious in how we conserve species that we know are of importance. Uh, and it's really clear what happened, right? It's not climate change, it's not some miraculous event, it's the onset of colonization. Baseline is shifting downwards, right, to, to a, a depressed ecosystem state. When DFO says that herring numbers are at historic heights, they're comparing it to the early 1950s, when herring had already been intensively fished for nearly 50 years. For the most part, it's still getting worse, not better, right? Maybe there's some portions of the, of the Salish Sea where things are actively improving, but for the most part, things are not. I believe in sustainable fisheries, but I do think we need to look at it with a greater precaution. You know, why fish a fish that's at the base of the ecosystem for a very little return. In 1962, more herring was harvested than the entire spawning biomass remaining in BC today. We cannot keep operating under the assumption that herring numbers used by fisheries management today are what will foster healthy ecosystems into the future. We need urgent action now to protect herring and all they uphold. Join us in calling for a temporary moratorium on the gillnet and seine fishery in the Strait of Georgia to protect herring for future generations.